Hello friends, let me start this video with a quote from Thomas Elva Edison who said once that many of the life's failure are people who do not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. This quote is also valid for people who have failed to clear prelims 2019. And as you know that most of the people who will be watching this video are those aspirants who were unable to clear the prelims exam 2019, I want to say upfront and very bluntly that you have failed to clear the prelims exam, but you have failed, you have not failed in your life. Life is much more than a single exam. And a failure in this prelims exam does not mean that you are failure in your life. UPSC gives six attempts to every aspirant and six is the minimum attempt that it gives to every aspirant. Which means that even UPSC knows that it is not easy to clear the exam in one or two or three attempts. That is why it, it has given you six attempts to actually again give the exam and give the exam. Now, UPSC is UPSC prelims by far, I would say, is the exam which has no slaver, which has no defined slavers. When you compare it with your university exams, in your university exam, there is a defined slavers and most of the questions which are asked are from the previous year papers. But this is not the case with UPSC prelims. The, 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 it has a slavers, but the slavers is so vague and everything under the sun comes under the UPSC prelims slavers. Plus, you have 50 people competing for one seat in mains. 50 people. The maximum, the mass exclusion in this exam comes from prelims exam. Therefore, 50 people are competing for one seat and only one will be lucky. 49 people will fail to clear the prelims exam. This is the rat race in this exam. There are lakhs of people who give this exam and there are people from IITs, from IIMs, from JNUs and still only 11,000 people had cleared the exam and the people who have failed consists of people who have scored single digit ranks in IITs. I know many people who have scored single digit ranks in their IIT entrance exam which means that those who have failed they do, it does not mean that they have less intellect or they have less capability to clear the exam. I know a friend of mine few years back who had scored in his first, in his very first attempt, he reached the interview, he missed by 9 marks. And after that, in his next 5 attempts, he was unable to clear prelims. This is how dicey prelims exam is. I give you another example. Tina Dabi scored highest marks in mains exam and her marks nobody was even close to her mains marks. But that same that same Tina Dabi scored 96 in prelims which clearly indicates that your capability and your intellect is not reflected in your prelims marks. There are very very talented people who are unable to clear the prelims exam. So you don't need to worry, you, do, you don't need to doubt your capability or your intellect even if you have failed in the UPSC prelims exam. Now I can understand the fact that waiting for one year, waiting for one more year is very awful when you know that the next exam or the next time you will be given opportunity to prove your skills, to prove your credentials will be next June. This will be a big waiting time. And this will require this will require a lot of willpower from your side. I know that you many of the people, many of the aspirants have a lot of problems at home. Their parents will stop supporting them from now on. They may, they may face some financial difficulties. They are growing old. There is a lot of pressure from their home, from their relatives. I can understand all these things, but this is a time where the strength of your character will be reflected and you will have to show because ultimately if you will be in the service in the service it requires a lot of 
determination, lot of willpower and lot of strength. This strength will also be judged in this next 11 months when you will be waiting to give the next year's prelims exam. Now, enough of the philosophical gyan. I don't consider myself competent enough. There are more well, uh, or there are more experienced teachers, more experienced mentors than me who can give you a lot of philosophical gyan I, and my philosophy is even weak. So I would move away from this philosophical gyan and I will share a practical plan of preparation for all the different kind of aspirants. So there are different kinds of aspirants. One which have just given one or two attempts and within them there are people who have just missed by few marks and those who have missed by a margin. Then there are people who have cleared mains earlier, who have cleared uh, you know pre earlier but they have failed in the prelims exam this year. So I will have a different plan, different strategy, I will discuss different strategy for all these different kind of aspirants in this small video. So those Let's start with those aspirants first who have given or this was their first or second attempt. Now, there are a lot of rankers who have failed to clear prelims in their first or second attempt. And this is very natural. Many people, you know, for many people, they take time to decipher the nature of this exam. It takes one or two years. It's very natural. So you don't need to worry a lot that you have not given the that you have not cleared the exam. My first advice to you guys is that you take a break of a week, re-energize yourself. And those who have failed the exam, those who have unable to clear the prelims exam in this category, which means people who have given first or second attempt, there are two main kinds of people. One who have just missed by a whisker one marks, two marks, three marks, who was just around the cutoff and somehow because their one or two questions got wrong and they missed the bus. Now for these kind of people, my advice is that you don't need to worry much. It could happen because of sheer bad luck because probably you would have, you know, your some areas would have been weak. My suggestion to you is that you don't focus on prelims from now on. You start your mains preparation, your optional preparation, try to enroll in any mains test series and try to write as many tests as possible. And you continue with your mains preparation till December. Focus on your GS papers, focus on your static mains and focus mostly on your answer writing skills and also your optionals because ultimately optionals play a very very important role in ensuring that you clear the exam well there are people who have scored i mean i can tell you my example a friend you know i scored probably the highest marks in gs in 2017 and my score in optional was 197 and that sealed my fate so optional is also something which is very very important and you need to focus on your optional your answer writing and your static mains path in these five six months from january uh, you can start dedicatedly with your prelims preparation you can enroll in any prelims test series also when i talk of and also when you start with your prelims preparation in january you focus on those areas where you have missed or where you have got most of your questions wrong and try to strengthen that area so if you have missed if you have got many economics questions wrong focus more on economics give as many prelims tests of economics as possible next is those students who have missed by a margin when i say margin i say seven eight marks or more so those who have missed by a margin in this you will have to worry a more because it means that your prelims that your prelim strategy is not good and in this category and you might have missed by a margin because of three reasons first reason is when you were not prepared enough you did not have enough revision you have just started preparation from three four months and you have just studied Lakshmi Kant or your history books or your economics books only once or twice 
Now, I, you guys don't need to worry a much because ultimately it's very difficult to attempt the paper by only studying Lakshmikan once or twice. Because see, this is not your exam, this is not your university exam where you have very less labels and you have only one course. So if I am doing economics, I will only study economics. It's not like that here. Here you are studying history, polity, you are studying IR, you are, you are studying science, environment, geography, you are studying arts and culture. So, so many areas you are studying that it will be difficult for you to retain what you are reading if you have not revised it at least thrice, at least thrice I would say. So, therefore those who have missed by a margin and those who have just started preparing, those who were not well prepared, you, you, will, you will inculcate the ability to, to score more once you will study more and now that you have one year more, so you have proper time to increase your sources, you have proper time to do revision. You, what you can do is that you can join the prelims test series, you can give the test and based on that you, you kind of analyze your score and you can take the support of mentors. Next is those kind of students who have missed by a margin and who were well prepared but still the questions which came in the exam they were bouncer for them. They have never heard about those kind of questions. Now 10-15 questions jo hai, that that ye to sabke saath hoga. Koi bhi banda hai jo hai, even Google bhi ho 10-15 questions jo UPSC mein aate hai har saal pre-exam mein wo bouncers hote hai. Nobody, nobody has an idea about them. They are outside book, they are out his labels. But if that number is 25 to 30 or 35, then there is a problem. Then it means that you are not, that you are not reading from the right source. You are probably reading from sources which are not relevant for UPSC or probably they, your strategy has some problem. Right. So you will require a fundamental shift in your preparation, a fundamental shift. You will, it will not be incremental change that will, uh, you know, improve your performance. You will require a massive changes in your preparation. So what you can do is that you can join, if you want, you can join the UAP program that we have launched, which provides you with proper mentorship support for one year, because ultimately you require a mentor who can guide you that you are reading from right source, that you are giving your test every week. So you need the support from a mentor. So for you, a best option should be to join UAP or if you are, if you are preparing from your home, you, what you require is that you should be in a company of a person who has an experience of this exam, who has given the, who has given, uh, who have given an interview or who have been a rank holder. So you should, you should discuss with them very regularly that I am reading from this source, whether it's right or I am reading polity in this way, whether it's right, because it can happen that you might be reading polity in a way that you are missing out on important areas from which a question could be asked. Right. So you require a mentor support uh, and therefore you should be close to somebody who has an experience of the exam. Also, there are third category of people in this. These students are people who are prepared, who have heard about the question, but still they have got their questions wrong. Now, these people are people who don't read the questions carefully. They are in a hurry. Secondly, they are people who think that this is, a, this is a CBSC exam. This is not a UPSC exam, but this is a CBSC exam. When I say CBSC exam, in CBSC, everybody tries to score 95%. They try to repeat that in this exam also by attempting 95 questions, 98 questions. Well, there are people who have attempted this number of questions and they have got really good marks. But this strategy doesn't work with everyone. I mean, I have never, I have never attempted in my life more than 75 questions. And I have always got around 70 questions right. So it depends on people to people. So therefore, I would say, and, the, and in this category, there are, uh, there are other people 
who are very conservative, who only attend 55 questions, 60 questions. Now, this is also a wrong strategy. So, these people, they don't require more studying. You know, they should study as they, as they were studying previously. They will study like that only. What they require is mock tests. They should give as many mock tests as possible because ultimately their problem is not with their preparation. They not, their problem is not with their lack of content. The problem is that they are unable to solve the paper. So their attention should be on focusing, their attention should be focused on solving as many mocks as possible before the next exam. And what you can do is, then you give the first five tests where you solve many questions, 90 questions. And you give the next five tests when you solve 70 questions. Now you calculate your score and you decide which strategy is working for you. If you feel that if you are taking more risk and that is making you score more marks, you adopt that strategy and you use that strategy even in your prelims exam. If you think that most of your risk or most of the risk that you are taking uh, is making things wrong, then you actually adopt a more conservative way of solving the paper. Also, you need to master the technique of Tigram. Through Tigram, you can actually increase or you can solve 10 or 15 more questions. So you people, your focus for next one year or next four or five months is to attempt as many mocks as possible. Now, for these people, for those people who have missed the prelims exam by a, by a margin, the adequate timetable for you is that if you are giving 9 hours every day, you should give 3 hours to your optionals, 3 hours for your mains preparation, which means answer writing and your static mains portion and 3 hours for your prelims preparation. Right now, I won't say that you give 100% focus on your prelims because ultimately, even if you clear prelims, you will not get a job until until you get a good marks in mains. So you need to focus simultaneously on your both prelims, mains and your optionals. So therefore, divide, I have divided the time 333. Three, you enroll in prelims test series and your mains test series also so that your preparation is, is on track and you follow an adequate timetable and you analyze your performance after uh, giving every test. You can analyze that whether you're reading, it is on a right track or you are, you're reading right thing or not. And thirdly, you require a mentorship support, whether it's somebody at home or you can join our UAP program. Next is those with three to five attempts those now we come to the second category of people who have given three to five attempts now those who have given three to five attempts in this there are three kinds of people three kind of aspirants one is who have never cleared prelims second is who have cleared prelims in the earlier attempts but they have failed to clear prelims now and third are the people who have cleared prelims and mains early in the earlier attempts, they have reached the interview stage, but this year they have failed to clear the prelims exam. So let us start with the first category of aspirant who have never cleared the prelims. Now my honest advice to you is that you should start looking for a backup job also, which means that you, should, you can give the state PSC, you can give the parliamentary secretariat exam, you can give the state secretariat exam. If your aptitude is good, you can give the, the SSC exam, the bank PO exam, the NABAD exam, the RBI exam. So ultimately see, three, four years have been passed and therefore you require a financial stability. You require a sense of achievement in your life because it's very depressing to fail in the exam for three or four years continuously. So you look for a backup job and side by side, you continue to prepare for UPSC, give three, four hours to UPSC, but along with that, try to find a job. See, ultimately you need to focus, even if you look for a backup job, 
but if your dream job is upsc you should not lose you should not lose the focus from that see there are people there is divyanshu patel in 2017 he scored he failed five prelims and in the sixth attempt he scored 204 rank there is a person called uh, i think vivek chauhan was his name i'm just if i'm remembering correctly he failed in five prelims and in the sixth uh, attempt he scored 300 rank in 2014 of or 15 exam so there are people who even after failing four five prelims probably this probably prelims is their weak area and probably you know they 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 have a good writing skill so if they get an opportunity to clear prelims they will definitely crack the mains exam so my advice is that don't give up but along with that start searching for a backup job in the second category are the people who have cleared mains uh, who have who have cleared prelims earlier but who have failed in mains now these people you people have a mediocre skills for prelims and a mediocre kind of or or you have a mediocre strength in prelims and you have a mediocre strength in mains which means that you require simultaneous preparation of prelims and mains since you have cleared the prelims exams or if since you have cleared the prelims in the earlier attempts my advice to you is don't really study for prelims from now on but enroll in a prelims test series so that you can continue to give test and you can continue to solve your weaknesses in attempting the test because ultimately if you have cleared the prelims exam last year there is no problem in your knowledge the problem is probably in the way you solve the test you solve the exam so a prelims test series will be suffice for you don't prepare for prelims and also focus on your mains because you were unable to clear mains exam in your earlier attempt which means that even your mains uh, exam has or your mains preparation has some lacks so therefore enroll in a mains test series give as many tests as possible till december and also see that uh, which areas you scored less in your mains if you are scoring less in gs focus more on gs if you are scoring less in sa enroll in an sa test series if you are scoring less in your optionals there is a choice that you can change your optionals or you can revise your optional again if your marks in optional are mediocre and there is, and there is a scope of improvement so this is my advice to the people who have cleared prelims last year but failed in mains exam last year and they have failed in prelims exam again in the third category are the students who have given interview in the previous attempts but now they have failed in prelims exam this year so my advice to you is that see you have a decent knowledge of mains exam probably weak probably you have missed prelims because you took prelims very lightly and because your results came late and you were depressed and therefore you did not study enough for your prelims exam so for you people my advice to you guys is that you should not focus on prelims from now on you should focus on mains analyze your paper analyze your mains mark sheet see in which areas you can improve your marks and work on those areas by getting your copies checked by an experienced mentor because ultimately in many programs in many institutes your copy is being checked by people who have never given even mains so you need to ensure that your copy because you are at a level and you want your copy to be checked by a person who is also at an higher level so therefore uh, you should get your copies checked by an experienced mentor and you should focus on mains till probably december and from january you can focus on your prelims preparation lastly are those aspirants who have exhausted all their attempts now your journey of upsc is over but your journey of life is not over there are 1.2 billion people in india out of that only 6000 are ias which means majority of people in india are not ias do you think that they are unsuccessful 
since they have not IS, they are unsuccessful. There are people like Arvind Subramanian who failed in the IS exam. Then and then he became the chief economic advisor of India, and many IS officers saluted him. There are people like Ravish Kumar who failed in UPSC, made his name in the field of journalism, and he is idolized by lakhs of people everywhere in the world, everywhere in India. So, because your journey in UPSC is ended, that does not mean that your journey of life has ended. You can still become as successful as possible. See, take it like take it in this way. The kind of knowledge that you have acquired over the six years that will help you to make a good person. That will in, that, that has improved your personality. And you have many options. You have many post IS options in your life. You can still sit for the state PSC exams. Most of the state PSC exams have an age limit of 40 years. And with the kind of knowledge you acquired, probably you can clear the state PSC exam. In many states, the promotion of state PSC is very fast. Also, somebody from or for, for somebody from North India, a SDM in his own state would be better than an IS in a remote state of Northeast. I have nothing against Northeast. I am saying because it's difficult for you to adjust in Northeast, especially from people from North India or from South India. So you can still sit for state PSC. Also, you can go back to your technical field if you are a doctor, if you are an engineer, if you are a scientist, if you are an economist, you can go back to a technical field, you can start your journey and you can again and you can again excel in that field. Next is that you clear the uh, you clear the net exam and you clear the JRF and you become a professor. You know, professor job is also really good now. You can, you know, you, you can use the knowledge that you have acquired in this exam for academic excellence, for academic persuades, you know. And lastly, you can become an entrepreneur. You can, you know, there's Startup India program. Government is supporting it. You can start your own business. You can start your, if you want, you can start your own business on the lines of, the education you can enter the education field you can enter the education business so there are options for you so there are options for you where you can become successful again in your life i really hope that the video gives you uh, the kind of confidence which i have intended before i was you know i had started this video and maybe 2019 was not yours but 2020 could be yours and you guys reach Labasna next year. With this, I want to conclude this video. I want to say that I, I want to give you all the best for your next year preparation. Don't lose your focus. There are 11 months left and start preparing for that from tomorrow itself. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Seville State.